Welcome back to the lab, guys. Today, I'm gonna to be going over how to mount a drive over iSCSI for Windows 10 and Windows Server 2016. So stick around. First, we'll need a system to do this upon. Here I'm using Windows Server 2016. If you want to set up iSCSI on Windows 10, you can use this video as a guide as they're both built on the same exact kernel and the steps should be exactly the same. So to begin, we'll need a system that has both internet and can connect to iSCSI. So that means we'll need two NICs or network interface controllers. Once you have them both connected, we'll go ahead and hop on the system as we are here and we're gonna open up Network and Sharing Center. So go down to the bottom right, right hand corner Click on Network and Sharing Center. Let's get it open. Here we'll have our two Ethernets. We're going to go ahead and we're going to want to actually change adapter settings. So on the left-hand side of the system, we're going to go over and click Change Adapter Settings. And that will allow us to work on Ethernet 1. Ethernet 0 is our internet, and we're not wanting to mess with that. Right-click and go to Properties. This will open up the properties for Ethernet 1. We'll want to click IPv4 so we can set itself a static IP address on the iSCSI network. The IP I'll be using is 100 dot 20 mm, let's see here i guess we'll go with dot 99 i don't have dhcp on this network so i can really set it to anything i want there's only a few select devices on it the subnet address will be 255 255 255.0 and in this case we don't need a default gateway or dns because it's just iSCSI we're not trying to connect to the internet go ahead and see my other video on what is iSCSI to get an actual understanding of what iSCSI fully is if you don't have one Next, once that's set up, we're going to go ahead and go to Windows Start and type in iSCSI. This opens up the iSCSI initiator. You'll get a Windows pop-up saying, hey, the service isn't running. Do you want to start it? We're going to go ahead and we're going to click Start. This will actually start the service and then bring up the GUI once the service is started. It can take a little bit of time to actually get this done. Now that it's up, you'll see the iSCSI initiator properties. Here we have, at the top, all of our tabs. We've got Discovery. Targets, favorites, volumes, and devices. A bunch more. In this case, we're just going to be going over Discovery. Go ahead and click on Discovery, and then go over and click Discover Portal. Next, we'll want to type in the IP address of our iSCSI device or target portal. In this case, it's going to be 10.0.20.40. After that's done, click Advanced, open up, make sure you select Microsoft iSCSI Initiator, and then select the initiator IP that you'd like to use. In this case, it was the one that we set earlier on Ethernet 1. Once that's done, go ahead and click OK. After that's completed, you'll see that now it's been added. If we go back over to targets, you'll see that now I have two targets added. These are both my FreeNAS actual volumes, or iSCSI volumes, sorry, that I use for my host. We're going to go ahead and click properties on the very first one, which is my 15K storage, and that brings up the properties for that target. Go ahead and click add session. This brings up the target name. After that, we'll click Advanced, come over to Local Adapter. We're gonna do the same thing as we did earlier, Microsoft iSCSI, select the IP that we're starting from and the IP we wanna hit. Click OK, click OK. Now down below, you'll see down here where it says MCS. This is for if you wanted to do round robin or configure multiple sessions. Um, just a quick look, but I'll go over this in more detail in another, you know, video later on. Go ahead and click, you know, cancel out of here. I'm not worried about it. Just wanted to give you guys a preview. Click OK. Now, if you'll notice, it says connected. Let's move on to the next one. Go ahead and hit properties. Then I'm going to come up and I'm going to add session. Go down to advanced. Local adapter, Microsoft iSCSI initiator, select our IP. Select the target initiator IP, click OK, click OK, click OK. Next, you'll see it's connected. After this, we'll want to go ahead and we're going to hit volume and devices up at the top. Now, if you notice, you'll see no devices. We can add them manually or we can click auto configure. I'm going to hit auto configure. And if you'll notice, it'll light up and boom, both of them are now configured and mapped over. And to prove this, I'm going to go ahead and right click on our Windows start bar and go up to disk management. Once we open up disk management, we'll be able to see the actual two drives and how they're mounted. So if we scroll down, there are my two iSCSI drives now mounted to this VM over iSCSI. Simple as that to be able to get iSCSI done on Windows 10 and Windows Server 2016. 
Thanks for watching. Hope this video helped you know figure some things out, help you solve any issues you were having, or maybe you're just getting started in iSCSI and this helped you know get a better understanding with how to set it up inside Windows. If you have any other you know videos you want to see or any other uh, issues you're having, go ahead and hit me up. I'm on Twitter or I'm on Reddit. I'm always happy to help. As always, though, I'll see you in the lab.